Hello guys, welcome back to Car Obsession and welcome back to our camper van adventure. This is the third and final part in which we do a bit more exploring before sadly giving Minty back to her loving owner. Oh, a little bit of wind. That's one thing actually I will say is because Minty's quite light. Yeah. As a passenger, obviously I, I probably don't feel it as much as you as the driver. But when you get like a forceful gush of wind, or when you're not expecting it and the wind just picks up. Oh, like that. Like that. You can feel Minty just go, way, and then kind of come back to reality. Be like, oh crap, I've got to grip onto the road. Yeah. Um, but again, it's all, it's all part and parcel it, it, of having, it, having it, the camper, isn't it? Yeah, it's all part of the character. It's all part of the, the package. And you know, on the motorway, she isn't that noisy either. No. Obviously, though, know, it is a big boxy frame. So there's a fair amount of wind noise, of course, but, it, you know, that is to be expected. And you've also got to bear in mind, she doesn't technically have a bonnet. She's flat. Yeah. At the front, so there's no... You're kind of hitting the wind flat on, like full face. Example. Yeah, there's no Whereas with other cars, it's kind of, it's kind of like front grill bonnet up and over. Whereas with Minty, it's like a slap in the face for her. Yeah, there's no aero aerodynamics. Exactly. There's aerodynamics. no aerodynamics. I can't get my words out today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So, as a driver, it's definitely an interesting driving sensation. It's definitely got bags of character. It's definitely quite quirky. The brake pedal, for example. If I want to hit the brake pedal, I, I, I pretty much have to lift my right leg. You have to stamp on it. Oh, no, not stamp on it, but I have to lift, I lift my right leg quite high just to get my foot on the pedal. So the pedal is quite high. I'll tell you what though, the, the clutch, the biting point, is nowhere near as, as difficult as I thought it would be. The, the, the clutch has got a quite a nice biting point on it. It's quite easy to be honest. But she rides pretty well. She does. Yeah. Pretty decent. Even on um comfortable. Oh, oh, excuse me. Even on faster roads, she still feels smooth. Yeah. So I, I'm still quite comfortable. I'm I'm comfortable. Don't get me wrong, I would like to be sat a little bit lower, but that's Same. most that's mostly down to my height. So obviously you have her for the rest of today tonight and most of tomorrow yeah has the experience so far make you want one? Oh, hey, don't, don't get me wrong if i had one i'd love it because it's you know, a shame they're so expensive that's because they're very popular they are very desirable if i had the time patience money and knowledge where am i going here my love Turning the first exit. Okay. If I had the time, the patience, the money, and the knowledge, I would buy a cheap one that needed work and do it myself. But the fact that to get one that is pretty much pristine and modern, like a minty, mm. you're looking secondhand around really the eighteen thousand pound mark. Yeah, which to be fair, for what you're getting is isn't actually that bad. That's you no. Know, it's reasonable value, I'd say. Yeah. Would you not agree? I definitely agree, but I think a lot of people may not because the thing is, for eighteen thousand pounds, you think, well, hang on, I'm getting a, I'm getting an old camper van that has the bare necessities in it. But the thing is. Unless you love camper vans and you 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 would like the experience and you get their character and you get the life of owning like a VW camper, mm. to me that is worth it. Yeah. Or if you're someone who only wants to have this experience on a on a you know on a now and then basis, you can do what we've done and hire one. Um, so if you are interested in hiring 
this camp van you can do so oh, yep if you want to hire minty i'll put the links for the hire in the video description below but i found minty through a website called go Booney. Uh, on there you can hire uh, camper fans and I think, you know, I think you can also hire standard kind of motorhome so it doesn't have to be a BW camper van um, but this particular camper can also be hired through vwcamperhire.co.uk I, I do hope I've got that website correct but like I say the web links will be in the video description below so big thank you to Peter the owner of Minty he has been very helpful very friendly and yeah I, can't, I, I cannot recommend Minty anymore. You know, any, you know, I, I cannot recommend her any more highly. Because um, yeah, we've had a great experience, and it, it isn't even over yet. Exactly. I am going to be very sad to give her back. Yeah, and and I will be because this has been such a wonderful adventure, even though it's been you know, two days or so. It has felt like a you know a proper little well, adventure. So yeah, it's been fun. It, it's been enjoyable. This is definitely you know, this is definitely a vehicle that you make memories in, isn't it? Yeah, and it's I think doing something like this, you have to have a special like special camera to do it. And you have to have a special vehicle. Yeah, and I think Minty has definitely made this weekend this trip a lot more memorable for me yeah don't get me wrong we could have come up in monique my mark my mx5 but this just feels so much more special i mean we haven't spoken about for example comfort of actually using her as a camper van yeah well com comfort so, as sorry go on go for it darling so for example Minty, like you might be able to even see on the camera through the back. Mm. Um, she has got, she's been, she's quite modern. She's got quite a nice modern, like leather sofa which folds out to make um, two thirds of the bed. Now, I would assume um, that uh, one of the more vintage, the older classic campers, if it's still got the traditional bed, I would probably guess like it's laying on feels like you're just laying on one or two bits of cardboard because um, I've, I've heard that if they're not kind of like from research and so on I've heard that if they're not kind of refilled or looked after they become very thin and flat very quick yeah whereas Minty she is actually first thing we said this morning was we slept really well mm. well um, I, I slept quite well Patsy didn't sleep quite so well because I was snoring well, yeah, and I gave up after smacking him five times and he just ignored me. So apart from kicking him or push, chucking him outside, which is too mean, I kind of just got on with it and hoped that he'd stop. But yeah. Soz. So tonight, I think I'll just have to smack him a bit harder or smack him around the face with a pillow and then pretend to be asleep or roll over and smack him harder and then pretend I'm asleep. So you never know, we'll see. Or well, I could go for the suffocation route, well. but you know. I would argue that is a bit harsh. Right, so I think we're going to conclude this part of the video. And we will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning. Who would have known that today would have been a nice day because I'm pretty sure more rain is forecast. And um, so sadly today is our last day with Minty. It's going to be quite emotional to hand her back but we have had a fantastic time and our time with her isn't quite over. So Patsy is uh, currently having a shower. Actually I say that. She is actually on her way back. I can see her uh, in the background. Um, we're going to visit a Birds of Prey centre today and then sadly we need to drive back to um, Minty's home to hand her back to her loving owner but it has been absolutely fantastic uh, I've probably said it before but if you're thinking about uh, hiring a camper van then just do it uh, the link for the hire company or hire companies I should say are in the video description below but yeah really nice day uh, I don't know how long it will last but for the time being look at that there are quite a few clouds in the sky but they don't look particularly threatening so hopefully we should have a pretty good day weather-wise.
Oh my god, they're so cute. Look at that. Symbols. That's, I love that they're called Sergei and Alexander. So there we have it, our weekend with Minty has now come to an end, uh, but it has been a fantastic weekend. I do apologize for the wind noise. It is very breezy today. Um, I haven't got my different microphone on, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, while it is quite breezy, it has been a fantastic weekend. Uh, we've had an absolute blast and it has been a fantastic experience. A massive thank you to Peter, the owner of Minty, for giving us such a great service. The hire has been fantastic. I don't think we could have really asked for any more. Sorry about that guys, my, uh, my battery died on my camera and I haven't got to any more, they, they've all run out so I'm now filming on my mobile which is something I haven't done for a very long time but the quality looks to be okay so I shall continue, the show must go on. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, Patsy has had a great time, as have I, uh, and yes we are very sad to hand Minty back and to wave goodbye. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have, uh, please like, subscribe and ring my bell so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession. My word, it's, it is windy today. Actually, guys, that isn't the end of the video because I've forgotten to do something. So, as you can probably guess, Patsy is rather sad that Minty has gone. You brought me Minty. I haven't brought you, you a camper. You brought me a camper van. I haven't brought you one, I'm afraid. Well, but, but I have brought you a little souvenir so you can remember... Our little experience. So, if you want to open up the glove box for me, please, darling. Better cheer me up. Better not be like a scary clown that's going to jump out. I don't think don't think a scary clown would fit in there. You have to excuse the rubbish. No, not that one. That one came free. <laughs> that one came free. It did. Oh, I didn't see another box. Sorry. Well, the tens tension is building. No way. That has to be beeped out. <laughs> Yeah, would you like to show you the ladies and gentlemen? Oh my gentlemen? god! He's a little Mindy! So Patsy, is, Patsy <laughs> bought herself a charm bracelet for her 30th. Oh my god! And I, and I got her a little camper van charm. Oh my god, it's the colour of Mindy as well. That is, that is purely coincidence. Do you want to hold it sideways for me, please, darling? Oh, she hasn't got a pink roof. Oh my god, thank you. So you can put that on your new charm bracelet and every time you look at it, it will, it will remind you of Minty. That is the best, thank you. Oh, I've got all emotional. <laughs> <laughs> right, on this note, I really am ending. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, uh, please like, subscribe and ring my bell and blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you soon.